WhatsApp is one of the top messaging applications, but most of us don't really utilize all of its functionality. I'm going to give you the top tips and tricks you should try if you haven't already. Let's get started. By now you probably have heard of WhatsApp web. It's very easy to set up. Simply browse to web.whatsapp.com and follow the on-screen instructions. You would need to scan a QR code on your laptop through your iOS or Android device and it's ready for you to use on your Mac or PC. This could be useful for a number of reasons. For instance, transfer files between your smartphone and laptop quickly without the need of plugging in any cables. Look at the WhatsApp pictures and documents on a bigger screen. Or simply enjoy the ease of typing on your laptop's keyboard. Hey, if this is the first time you're visiting my channel, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon to turn on the notifications. In WhatsApp, you have the option to start text or picture messages, which is more like a bookmark in your conversation. All you need to do is hold down on the text, picture or document and select star. If you hit the little arrow next to the start message, it will take you back to the point in that conversation. And if you ever want to refer back to it, simply go to starred messages to see all messages from different contacts. This could be very useful to access important messages quickly. And of course you can unstar them if needed. You know that WhatsApp limits you forwarding a message to more than five people at a time to stop spamming. But what if you want to send a message to more than five people? Well, broadcast list is the answer to that. Simply create a broadcast list and send that message through it. Each person in the broadcast list would receive this message as if it was a direct message. How cool is that? When you send someone a message and it's delivered, you would normally get two blue tick marks next to the message. This is a default WhatsApp setting which allows all your WhatsApp contacts to see if you have read their message or not. However, this instant confirmation of message being read can be problematic in certain situations. The good thing is you can turn it off so that other people won't know if you have read their message or not. So all you need to do is go to settings, account, privacy and turn off the read receipts. One thing to note here is that you won't be able to see read receipts from other people either. Now if I send a message, there are no blue tick marks anymore. Within a chat, if you wanted to reply to any of the previously sent message, just swipe right on that message and reply. This can be done on any type of messages, whether it's a voice picture or text message. Have you ever thought which contact is eating up all your storage space? Let's figure it out. Click on settings, go to data and storage usage, storage usage. The contacts here are sorted by storage size. So the top one is taking the most. Let's click on the top contact to get more details. There are 64 text messages. Photos are taking that much of storage from this person and all that and you can actually manage and clean up directly from here. Simply select what is not needed and click on clear to free up some storage space on your device. Sometimes friends add you to a group and start bombarding you with messages. This could be very annoying if you are busy doing some important piece of work. You have the option to leave that group, but what if you want to remain in that group and just get rid of the noisy alerts? Well, luckily, you can deactivate the sound beep and vibrations on your phone by clicking on the group, click on mute, and select to mute for 8 hours, 1 week, or 1 year. If I select 1 week, you can see it's now muted till this date and time. Now if someone sends you a message on this group, you will not hear any noisy beeps or vibrations. This can also be unmuted anytime too. 
By default, WhatsApp pictures are stored automatically in your camera roll. If you don't want this, you have the option to turn it off. Go to settings, chats, save to camera roll and just switch this off from here. Now anyone sending you the pictures in WhatsApp will not be saved in your camera roll automatically. Have you ever worried about losing your important chats in WhatsApp? If the answer is yes, then you should start backing up your chat messages. Go to settings, chats, chats backup and under auto backup you can select either daily, weekly or monthly backups of your chats. If your phone is low on storage then it can be turned off from here too. Have you tried this new search feature in WhatsApp? In chats you will find a search bar at the top. You can now search for photos, links, videos, documents and whatnot. If I type MCAM tag, the search brings up all the chat messages or media for that person. If I select photos, all the photos from that person will come up. This cool feature enables you to easily search through your WhatsApp for specific photos or messages. How cool is that? Have you tried WhatsApp dark mode yet? The link is coming up on screen and also in description. Check it out. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions then comment below and I'll see you in the next one.